What's up YouTube? Welcome back to another video here on M Kwan Reviews. I'm M Kwan and this behind me is the brand new BlackBerry Motion, the latest smartphone from the BlackBerry company. In this video, I'm going to be unboxing and giving you a review of this brand new device. Uh, but wait, there's not just one. There's another one here as well. That's because one of these is to unbox and review and the other one is to give away to one of you. Now, if you want in on the chance to win one of these, really simple. First of all, you've got to be a subscriber to the channel. So make sure right now you hit that subscribe button and hit the bell notification next to it. And for the full list of instructions on how you can enter to win one of these, wait till the end of the video. But right now, we're going to swap up the camera lens and give you a closer look at what we get inside. Let's do it. Now taking a closer look at the device, you will see that this is all screen. Unlike the key one, which is made up partly of a actual physical keyboard, this is all screen. So you've got a 5.5 inch 1920 by 1080 IPS LCD display, and that's got some bezels both at the top and at the bottom. And then you've got this home button, which kind of doubles up as an BlackBerry logo and a fingerprint scanner there at the front. Now turning it to the side, you've got really interesting arrangements, so, not something that I was familiar with, but you've basically got a volume rocker on the side over here, you've got the on off button over here, and then you've got a convenience key on this side uh, lower down. Now that you can map up to load up any particular app or any particular function, uh, so that can be done with the OS. And then you've got this brushed kind of gray metallic uh, outline all the way uh, across. Uh, takes you down to the bottom where you've got the speakers, you've got the USB sync charge cable, you've got the three and a half millimeter headphone jack, you've got a microphone there as well. Now bringing you over to the other side, you've got no buttons here, just a SIM tray uh, for your SIM card. Incidentally, this version will, I believe, take two SIM cards, so you can put two uh, sims in here which makes it super easy if you are going to use this as a work and personal uh, device. At the top it's completely flushed, nothing there except for a small uh, I'm assuming microphone uh, gap over there. Now taking it to the back you can see that you've got a large 12 megapixel uh, camera and uh, that has an LED flash. On the front incidentally we have an 8 megapixel camera over here. So what's this thing like to use day to day? Well, there are a number of things that I really like about the BlackBerry Motion if you are focused very heavily on security. Uh, this is something that I think really puts in motion uh, ahead of the com uh, competition, particularly uh, if you're talking about an old screen Android uh, device. There's something called DTEC that's included by default with the BlackBerry device, and it's a really interesting um, app that's specifically made for BlackBerry smartphones that will allow you in a simple way to gauge the level of security on your smartphone. And they do this in the app through this really simple gauge, and it tells you if it's poor, um, you know, moderate, excellent, and also gives you functions to to, uh, change particular settings around security and I think that's going to be key to someone that's looking for security on their device. There's another really interesting but very simple implementation of security. Let's go into the camera app. So if, if you want to take a camera uh, pic or video as most of us want to do then you can hit that camera button there. Boom! Camera picture taken. But if you want to take an image or a video that only you are able to see, then BlackBerry have done this really easily. You simply click on that 
and then that gets added to a secure folder that only you have access to. So it means that if you want to, I don't know, take sensitive images that you don't want other people looking at or only being available to you to access, then that is a really awesome feature that is included by default on the BlackBerry Motion. Now on the subject of camera, incidentally, it's got a 12 megapixel uh, back camera or rear camera and uh, images are okay in normal to good lighting, but in low lighting, uh, the camera can struggle a little. You do have uh, functions and settings uh, for you to get the perfect shot, but that is something that I notice when using this device. And the same can be said for the video functions as well. Another thing that I love about the Motion is the fact that the back over here kind of reminds me of one of the older BlackBerry smartphones. You've got this kind of carbon fiber finish at the back, which looks and feels really nice and premium. But underneath that is the Whopper. You've got a 4,000 milliamp hour integrated battery. And that means you're gonna hopefully get some excellent day-to-day uh, -day use when it comes to battery life. And I think that is another key selling feature of the motion. So if you're looking for an Android smartphone with impeccable battery life uh, that doesn't sort of uh, take up too much space in the hand, the motion is definitely going to tick that box for you. Now this is actually running Android 7.1.2 and um, one of the things I like about this, particularly as someone that also uses an iPhone, is the fact that BlackBerry haven't messed around too much with the um, software. So there's not a lot of bloatware on there that you would find with some of the other manufacturers. It's quite, uh, uh, quite clean and easy to use. And uh, day to day, I mean, if you know, I haven't really pushed it in terms of gaming or anything like that, but for social media, for media consumption, for uh, browsing, for uh, emails, for uh, messaging, it does perfectly fine given the specs. So, who is this device for? Well, Here's the thing, if you are looking for an all screen BlackBerry device, so you're not a big fan of the keyboard, you're looking for BlackBerry hardware, as well as the focus on security and a mid range smartphone, you don't wanna to spend too much, then I think the BlackBerry Motion will appeal to you. For the rest who are looking for something that is more sort of high end when it comes to spec and pricing, then it might be worth looking at the key one, particularly if you want to stay with BlackBerry and you want a physical keyboard. Now, if you want a chance to win a BlackBerry Motion, then the rules to the giveaway are really simple. Number one, you have to be a subscriber to this channel, so make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. Number two, I want you to leave a simple comment down below as to why you believe you deserve the BlackBerry Motion. Now I'm going to announce the winner over on my Instagram account. So you need to be following me on my Instagram account. There should be a card somewhere on the side or a link down below. I will announce the winner in two weeks time. So get entering. That's it from this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Until next time, I'm M. Kwan. Don't forget to hit that like button down below and I'll see you soon for another video here on M. Kwan Reviews. Ciao.